Hi Scorpio. Welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot. Or welcome back if you're returning. Thank you so much if you are. I really appreciate you. I so appreciate all of you that come back every month and all your support, your likes, your comments, subscribes, and shares. They mean the world to me. Thank you so much. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you too. I hope the reading resonates with you. And if it does, I hope you'll also hit that thumbs up and leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. Keep in mind the reading is general, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio out there. It just can't. Uh, but if it does, then, you know, leave me a comment. Like I said, um, if it doesn't, though, check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs because you most likely will find something among those four that would resonate with you, I would think. Um, also, you'll notice that uh, I use my pendulum to determine whether the card should be upright or reversed. I don't just take the reversals as they come out. And also, this is typically my readings are love focused, but they don't have to be. If, if it resonates with you on a relationship you have with a coworker or a business partner or a family member or anything, it can resonate anyway. Okay, so just take it out resonates, but you won't have to force it. All right, so I've been shuffling your energy in already for a while. We're about ready to get started. If the reading does hit home and you'd like something more personal, you can find my email address in the description box below the video. And you can also find there the link to my Patreon page where I upload extended versions to all of my readings. You can get access to all 12 of the extended readings for just $3.33. Just thought I'd throw that out there, let you guys know. No matter what, I love you. Let's get started. All right. So, Spirit, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Scorpio for the month of March 2020. What is going on with Scorpio? This is what I call the Lady V spread after Venus. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but she is super bright in the sky right now. Right as the sun goes down and the moon comes up, Venus can be seen right there, very close to the moon. And she is bright, super bright. Whoops. And she, I think, is still in Pisces right now, getting ready to go into Aries soon, sometime this month. We just had a new moon in Pisces. I hope you all set your intentions, and we have a full moon in Virgo next Sunday or Monday, I think it's the 9th, I think. Either the 9th or the 10th is the full moon in Virgo. All right, all right, let's see, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 2020, can you believe it? They didn't flip upright, and, or I didn't, I didn't see them. They didn't flip face up, and if they're meant to come out, they will. All right, so let's see. Spirit, are the top eight cards the correct cards for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2020? And is the overall energy at the bottom of the deck? Thank you so much. Appreciate you. All right, here we go, Scorpio. We are ready for your cards. All right. How you feel about your person, Scorpio? The three of pentacles. You want to work it out. You want to meet up. You want to put some effort in and do some teamwork. You want to collaborate with this person. You want to cooperate with this person. Um, yeah, I mean, this is definitely a card of, uh, wanting to meet up, get together, talk about things, lay down plans, lay down a foundation. Um, cooperation and, and working together. You want to work together with this person. All right. How they see you. Ooh, the 10 of swords. They see you as uh, in a lot of pain right now. If this stays upright, I'll use my pendulum to determine if it goes reverse, maybe you're getting over or something, but uh, you've definitely, they see you as having been on a cycle, regardless, a long cycle, a painful cycle, how they feel about you. The four of swords currently in reverse might Hopefully it'll stay that way. That would mean they want to communicate. Um, but if it stay, if it goes upright, then it's they're just kind of healing right now, or they're thinking about how they feel about you. Let's see. 
in the past between you and this person, the Knight of Swords, there might have been some heated conversation. Somebody told the other off, maybe, or back and forth. Uh, somebody could have left in a hurry. Could have been harsh communication. Swords or communication, thoughts and words. All right, in the current energy between you and your person, the Nine of Wands. You guys are beat down. <laughs> you guys are tired right now. This is the Wounded Warrior card. It's my one fuck left card. Because this guy, even though he is beat down and tired, I mean, he's tired. Look at him. He ain't giving up. Not with, he's already stood up those, all those wands behind him. He's he's not going to give up now. He's put too much work into this already. Too much, there's too much invested. He's got one fuck left. Just one maybe, but he does have that one fuck left. <laughs> All right, male or female, this is the current energy between you both. I think you both have one fuck left right now, okay? But you're tired and beat down. All right, the energy your person is bringing your way this month or their most likely move, the Seven of Cups currently in reverse. We will see. I don't want to say too much about that card until I know the direction, your advice, the King of Cups. Okay, hmm, love. This guy loves hard and deep, but he's not too overly communicative with his emotions. He does not wear his heart on his sleeve at all. You're kind of on a need to know basis regarding this guy's feelings or gal. All right. Um, but maybe somebody needs to know something, Scorpio. Um, yeah, Scorpio. Your outcome, Scorpio. This is preliminary. We'll get clarifiers. The star. Very nice. I'm noticing that there's a good amount of blue on here. Blue is healing. The star is healing, actually. Uh, this is hope. Hope fulfill. Hope, you know, renewed hope, healing, wish fulfillment. That's amazing in your outcome, okay? This could be, uh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, by the way. This is the only major arcana on the table right now, which is interesting also. So this week or this month, it may be more about your decisions and your person's decisions, uh, we'll see with the rest of the cards, but hope is definitely here. Healing is definitely here. Wish fulfillment appears to be here as well. And, uh, you know, this is a very faded card. I get a very faded feel from the star. It's like a star cross lovers thing when I see it. Um, we'll see what other cards come up. When I see it in combination with certain cards, I definitely uh, just get a very faded feel. So that overall energy is the hanged man. Could be dealing with a Pisces. That's your only other major arcana here. Let's see what direction these cards should be in. Spirit, upright or reverse the hanged man. The three of pentacles. The ten of swords. The four of swords. The Knight of Swords. The Nine of Wands. The Seven of Cups. The King of Cups. And the star. Excellent. Thank you. The cards came out as they should be, except for this hangman came out reverse. But he is upright. Hanged man is your overall energy. So there could be some stuck energy in March, okay? Or you could be coming out of stuck energy in March. Uh, maybe you've been hanging around for a while. Um, so for me, this card is kind of like, you're on a pause because you haven't learned what you were supposed to learn yet. Okay, this is about learning lessons. This is about changes in perspective. This is about the universe putting you on hold, putting a pause on you until you see something that you're meant to see, until you gain some sort of enlightenment in a situation and see things from a different perspective, okay? So there could be pauses or delays this month, maybe just in the beginning of the month, probably actually, because we are in a Mercury retrograde. We are in the Mercury retrograde until, I believe, the 9th of March, um... 
I think it goes actually direct on the, the 9th or the 10th, but we still have the shadow period after that. So the first half of the month is, you know, it's kind of good that it's a delay uh, there, Scorpio, because, you know, communication is just not all that great during the Mercury retrogrades and uh, just shit can go wrong. So, you know, just kind of take it easy and uh, really, you know, retrogrades are about that anyway, reassessing, reevaluating rethinking everything and that's what this hangman is doing he's stuck here until he sees what is meant to be seen okay until he has that light bulb moment okay so that is your overall energy like i said how you feel about your person scorpio you definitely want to uh collaborate with them you want to put some work in and build something with them you want to lay a foundation with this person you definitely want to partner up with this person Okay, or in some way, take it out resonates. If you're, if it's not a love relationship, you want to partner up with them on some kind of project or something, if this is resonating a different way. How they see you is having been through something very long and very hard. They may have actually been the one to put these 10 swords in your back, but they see you as hurting, having been through something a lot, having been somebody that has been through a lot. <coughs> Excuse me, if it's not actually them that put you through it. You've been on a cycle. They may know, uh, actually understand that you've been on a cycle together. Um, and they just, they see that you've been hurt and that they think that it might be over. They see that you ended things. Maybe you ended things, Scorpio. Okay. And they want to communicate. Okay. So I feel like right now you guys may be in this energy, which is like a healing. It's, it's a break for sure. You guys are probably not talking uh, much, if at all. Um, this is a break. It's healing. It's time to think. This is retrograde energy, in my opinion. Really just, you know, thinking about things and, and healing and trying to, you know, it, it just goes right along with the hangman, in my opinion, also. But this person wants to communicate. They have something to say to you, Scorpio. Okay, they want the break to be over, I see. In the past, like I said, I feel like there was some sort of argument that happened between you guys. Uh, that somebody probably pops off at the mouth and then took off, okay, and maybe ghosted even. Uh, but I definitely see there was some sort of, there was an exchange, and it was probably somewhat heated or not all that pleasant in the past, and I feel like somebody did take off um, <clears throat> in some way. Uh, right now, like I said, your mutual energy is the Nine of Wands. That's being tired and beat down and not knowing if you have the strength to actually keep going. But you do, Scorpio. Both of you do. You do have one fuck left in your pocket. Okay? Your person, I think, wants to clear up the confusion. And this is how they feel. So maybe that's why they want to have this talk. They are ready to communicate something to you. And I think it's something that's going to clear up a lot of confusion. They're must have been some sort of confusion going on before, or maybe somebody had options. So maybe your person is going to eliminate some options or uh, make room in their life for you or something. But this is also just a very confusing energy. So I feel like they want to clear up the confusion with these two cards. Okay. Your advice, Scorpio, is the King of Cups. So I feel like there's love here. There's definitely love. And I feel like you, uh, the universe is saying, spirit is saying, there's love here. <laughs> okay. Don't forget the love, Scorpio. You definitely have strong feelings for this person. Okay. And you may, uh, well, I want to get the clarifying cards. Cause I mean, I, you know, the king of cups, king of cups, he tends to keep his emotions close to his chest. So you might be being advised to actually not be overly expressive with this person. Maybe hold back a little bit, honestly, is what I'm kind of getting. We'll see. Just hold back, like, you know, expressing things, you know, until maybe you know a little more or hear them out or something. We'll get some more cards. Like I said, the star in your outcome, it's freaking gorgeous, okay? Healing, wish fulfillment, um, hope, renewed, it's gorgeous, okay? So let's get some more cards and see where this goes, all right? Spirit, please clarify these cards in the order that they are laid out, two by two. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Scorpio for the month of March 2020. Two by two, please clarify these cards. Please clarify these cards in the order that they are laid out for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March 2020. Two cards at a time, then two cards at the bottom of the deck.
Spirit are the top 16 cards, the correct cards to accurately clarify the ones that are already laid out for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March 2020, and is the overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Two cards. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. All right. So how you feel about your person, the Wheel of Fortune, currently in reverse, and the Hermit, also currently in reverse. Could be dealing with a fixed sign, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius, or Sagittarius, because that Wheel of Fortune is Jupiterian energy, or Virgo with that Hermit. Um, how your person sees you, the Ten of Swords, and the Four of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Okay, so they see you. There's a past. You guys share some, some memories. Um... Maybe they see you as healing from something from your past. Could be. They might see you as a soulmate. All right. Let's come back to that. How they feel about you. Ooh, the Ten of Cups. Nice. They want to communicate to you. They don't want to be on a break. Maybe they want your happily ever after with you, Scorpio. And the Three of Pentacles. Seems they want to put some work in themselves. They're ready to partner up, collaborate, cooperate. In the past, the Knight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Maybe there was not an equal give and take, an, un, uh, an imbalance of energy in the connection, perhaps. We'll see what direction it goes in. Clarified also with the Ace of Cups. Hmm. I'll wait to see what direction that's supposed to be in before commenting. Current energy between you guys, the Nine of Cups. It is currently in reverse. We'll see. Could be wish fulfillment. Um... And the Two of Wands. Okay. We'll check it out. We'll check it. All right. The action your person is most likely to take towards you this month, the Eight of Cups. Ooh. We will see. So we have the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups. There's a progression. We'll see if this is supposed to go upright or, or, or if it's supposed to go reversed. Okay. And then also the World. Okay. Cycles. Cycles, yeah. It may, maybe they want to start a new chapter. We'll see. I, I have to know what direction this is going to be. All right. In your advice, Scorpio, with the King of Cups, we have the Three of Cups. Okay. And the Ten of Swords in reverse. Get over it, I'm hearing. You need to get over the past, Scorpio. Okay. Clarifying the star for your outcome. The Knight of Swords again. What? We already had the Knight of Swords in the past. He's coming back. This Knight is coming back. Maybe he has something better to say this time. Or maybe you're the Knight and you have something better to say. Or maybe it's just a conversation. It doesn't have to be harsh energy all the time. Okay? It's communication. Knights, I mean, it, it could be just speedy communication. Something came in, comes in very fast. Um, and it's, I would normally say with the Knight, it's probably something big that's being said, though. It's not just going to be like a small communication. Um... Somebody could be rushing in. We'll see. Let's see. Ooh, and the Nine of Swords. All right. Well, hopefully that goes reverse. We will see. All right. Overall energy, the Two of Pentacles and Judgment. Scorpio. Card of Scorpio. One of them. So you could be dealing with a fellow Scorpio. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, Spirit. Upright or reversed? The uh, Judgment, please. The Two of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Hermit, okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is upright and the Hermit is in reverse, correct? Thank you. The Four of Swords. The 
The Six of Cups. The Ten of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Cups. The Two of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the World, the Three of Cups. The Ten of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Okay, give me a sec. Let me take care of this. That's correct. These go reversed. Both of them. Unfinished business. Your person has unfinished business with you, Scorpio. That's what they're feeling. Okay, let's see. All right, so Scorpio, in your overall energy, okay, we do have the two of pentacles. Okay, so that is either being very busy, juggling, or just going back and forth between two ideas or just trying to decide something. It is about a decision because we also have judgment, which is also about a decision. And we also have the hanged man, which usually comes before a decision. Okay, these are two cards of enlightenment or awakening. So I do believe that somebody is awakening to something about this connection that they have not seen before. Um, I do feel like things are changing. There are big changes with this. There is going to be a decision made. I mean, we definitely do see, like I said, somebody making a decision with this two of pentacles. We have the judgment also and the hanged man, which is like contemplating here. You know, like I said, trying to see things. Judgment is also about resurrecting something from the dead. So if you guys are on the outs, which I think you kind of are, most of you, um, there definitely is reconciliatory energy here. I mean, I definitely see a reconciliation. Honestly, I don't even have to go through the rest of these cards. Just the way they are right now, I already can see it. Okay. Uh, but, and I will get more information or more cards in the extended reading. We'll look more into the outcome and everything here. So how you feel about your person, you feel like you were really lucky to have met them. You feel like it was fated. Destiny brought you guys together. You somehow know this, even if you're not like, I mean, if you're watching this, you probably, you are somewhat of a spiritual person. Um, and you probably have some sort of higher power that you, you know, believe is like God or uh, you know, the universe. Okay. So you feel that this higher power that you believe in, whoever that is to you. Okay. Somehow brought you together. You definitely know there's something bigger than you, both of you that was had a hand in this connection that there was bringing you together. And so you feel that it's faded and you feel also that you guys have probably been in hermit mode and separation. Okay. And you want that to stop. You want to see this person. You want to come out of the hermit mode. Okay. You want, you're ready to work with other people. Okay. This, this is a solitary energy. And here we have three people on the card. I don't jump to third party, uh, you know, situations just cause there's a three here. I mean, this is threes are about growth and expansion. Okay. And building uh, with the three of pentacles, it's building something together. It's collaborating. Okay. So I'm not sensing third party energy at this point with that. Okay. 
uh, how they see you. I kind of feel like um, they see you as having been really hurt, but I think that maybe you just reached out to this person, Scorpio. Or maybe they, for some reason, they know that you want to communicate as well because you miss them. I feel like they know that you miss them with that Six of Cups. Okay? Um, like I said, they still definitely could see you as a soulmate or something, you know, like that. Uh, you could know this person from your past, you know, grown up together or something like that. And they see you guys having a lot of history. Okay? But I definitely feel like they know that you miss them. Okay? And that you want to communicate or maybe you just did communicate. Um, they feel about you, Scorpio, that they definitely want to communicate. They want to communicate. I think that they're ready to partner up. They're ready to collaborate, put some energy in towards this. They want to communicate to you that they see that you guys could have a happy future, that they see that this might be possible for you guys. If you can just cooperate. Okay. That's what they want to communicate to you. We'll find out more if you follow me over to the extended uh, in the past, yeah, I feel like somebody took off or uh, was just, you just had an argument. Somebody said something that uh, I guess ended things and it was probably about there was just no balance. There was not an equal exchange of energy in this connection in the past. Okay, somebody was putting in way more effort than the other person. Okay, and they felt that the love was unrequited. Somebody felt that there was unrequited love there. And so they, you know, said, screw you and... The horse you rode in on, <laughs> the horse you rode in on, and, uh, you know, took off. All right, but right now it looks like we have two nines here. So, and we actually have the nine of swords in your outcome also. So, you know, and we have the world here. So, you guys have definitely been on a cycle. The ten of swords is here twice in your reading, okay? And like I said, you have several nines. So, you guys have definitely been on a cycle with this person, okay? And, I mean, you know, sometimes those cycles repeat too. So, some some of you have been on, a, you know, ongoing repeat of this cycle, okay? Um but, it, you know, you definitely both are tired and weary, but you're not ready to give up. You, you, It's like, you know, you still have that one fuck left. It is your wish that you guys could meet up, see each other. This is the two of wands. You could live at a distance from this person for sure. Um, and you could be longing to see them. They could be longing to see you. The two, you know, it's a two. And it is about choices as well. So somebody is in decision-making mode right now thinking about what would be their wish fulfillment. What really would make them happy? What do they really want? Somebody's thinking about that. I think both of you are thinking that because this is your mutual energy. Okay. Your person. Okay. We know they want to come forward and say, Hey, I think we have a shot at happiness here. If we can work together and they want to come back and clear up the confusion, they want to return. Okay. And they, because they feel that there's unfinished business. They just don't feel like they have any closure. So, so for some of you, they could just be coming back for closure. Okay. For some of you. Okay. But for most of you, I feel like they just, they feel like there's unfinished business that, that you guys are not done. Okay. Um, and you're being advised. All right. So yeah, be joyful, be celebratory. If this person wants to get together and meet up, be ready to do that. You need to get over the past. Okay. This is definitely a big, loud and clear message from spirit. Get over it. Okay. Whatever it was, I will tell you it was most likely necessary for your spiritual growth. That I, I can actually promise you that if you've been going through these cycles with anybody, it is for your spiritual growth. Okay, so whatever it is, you're, you need to get over. It doesn't mean that you have to accept however anybody treats you. Hell no. Okay, we should forgive because forgiveness is in our best interest. Okay, however, sometimes it is okay to cut people some slack. If you can look back and you realize that it was divine, it was the divine that was keeping you guys apart or, you know, different energies that were causing, you know, whatever issues you were having and, you know, you still have feelings for this person, you know, get over it. Because you don't want that to hold you back from this. Look at all that joy. This is celebration. This is meeting up and just having a good time, sharing some laughs, okay? But when you do, definitely be in your awesome Scorpio, let, let's, you know, have a good time self. But also be in your awesome Scorpio, um, still a little bit going to reserve my excitement just a little bit until I see what's going on, okay? So I feel like you're being told to reserve your excitement just a little bit. Get over the past. Don't be sulking and all that shit, okay? But at least, you know, do be a little bit reserved 
uh, with your excitement until you can assess the situation and this person's energy. Okay, but definitely, you know, be happy and lighthearted when you get together with this person. Definitely wear your smile. A smile goes so far, you have no idea. Um, I mean, you can just do the studies on that. And seriously, smiling is the most attractive thing that any person can ever do. Okay, if you look at the, uh, at the data on that. Okay, so anyway, yeah. I just feel like you shouldn't be overly gushing with this person, but be in your, put on your happy face and be ready to, you know, have a good time and not be, you know, harping on the past when you do get together with this person, Scorpio. Okay. Um, but I do feel like, you know, whatever you, whatever energy you've been in, which obviously looks very painful and uncomfortable, you know, this woman is in despair or this person, I don't know if it's a male or female and it doesn't matter. Uh, they're in despair up at night can't sleep just you know can't stop thinking about this situation about this person it's just driving you nuts that's coming to an end okay in march or thereabouts okay there is hope here there is healing here there is wish fulfillment here somebody is going to be rushing back in with something to say it looks like it's your person they have unfinished business and it's going to make you a lot happier it's going to take a huge weight off your shoulders scorpio going forward okay so, if you are interested in finding out a little more about how this person feels about you, what they're planning to do, more advice, and some more about that outcome, as well as some oracle cards, you can follow me over to Patreon, and we'll be looking that over there, and uh, or at that over there, and if not, and this is where we part ways, I hope you have a beautiful March, happy St. Patty's Day, and uh, happy Equinox if you celebrate the Equinox, and uh, I will talk to you guys in April. Thanks, bye.